In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at a small but very helpful plugin called tcomment. So there's a handful of these available for Vim, but this one seems to work perfectly for me, so that's what I'm suggesting here. And its only job is to help you comment out code because we do it so much. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna download the file, and installing it's going to be very easy. Check right here, edit the VBA file and type source percentage. All right, so let's open up the terminal and check this out. Go into the desktop, and if we view the files, we want to open up within Vim that tcomment file. All right, and we're just going to call source percentage, and that's it. And it goes and extracts those files to the necessary locations. Okay, so that plugin is installed, so let's play around and see how we can use this. I just have a, a very quick sample JavaScript file. So by default, if we come back here, we can see that we can use these commands that are available as well as some of these as well. So by default, control underscore control underscore will comment out a file. So I'll try that right now. There you go. Now additionally, we can select multiple files. So if I do capital V and select all of that, again, I can do control underscore underscore. Really simple. I can additionally select uh, specific areas. So if I wanna select site, I can do that, and then once again, control underscore underscore, and that'll select, or I'm sorry, that'll comment that particular area. But for me, I'm not a huge fan of typing that. It's a little hard for me. I'd rather just use the leader key. I'm gonna visit my vimrc file, and if I search for comment, you can see here that I've set up a mapping. And rather than typing this, I've mapped it to your default leader key, which is backslash plus C. So now with this in place, you may need to, depending upon your Vim configuration file, you may need to restart Mac Vim to make this work or your own version of Vim. But if all goes according to plan, you should be able to type backslash C or whatever you have the leader set to. So let's try it out. So we're in the middle of the word. If I type backslash C, sure enough, that works. Again, if I select an area, that works just fine. All right. So it's a very simple, very quick plugin. You can see there are a few other options available right here, but those are the ones that I use the most often, and it'll save you a lot of time.